and welcome back to Premier League Predictions, the show where we predict all of the Premier League games. It's game week three of the Premier League season and what a fantastic first game weeks it has been. It's game weeks which have featured no points at all for Manchester United and a Liverpool side fail to claim any wins. But we're going to start with Tottenham versus Wolves, the first game on the Saturday, the 12.30 kickoff. It's the Tottenham side who picked up a very fortunate draw against Chelsea, it has to be said. Yeah. And then at Wolves, oh, they have not looked fantastic. Drew with Leeds, and then I can't remember what they did this week. Um, Who they play? No clue. Someone random. Not no. Have a look. I'll have a look. So how have we forgotten this already? But yeah, Tottenham. They uh, obviously won in their first game week against Southampton. Drew with Chelsea. At home to Wolves. Here, you'd imagine it would be a comfortable victory. Wolves have not looked stunning. In the games they've played, whoever, whatever True they may be, of course it was something. Missed a penalty, so they got quite lucky there. Yeah, the Wolves don't look like they're going to beat Tottenham. Are no. they? I'm going to go for a comfortable two 0 Tottenham. I don't think they'll tear them apart, but I do think Son will get his first of the campaign, and we will see a first goal for Ivan Perisic in I'm, his first start. I'm going to say only one 0 Tottenham. Son mm. goal. Bit of a boring BT 12.30. Yeah, Son definitely needs to start scoring there. If not, yeah, yeah he's definitely not going to retain his golden boot and he's going to see his FPL percentage selected start to drop significantly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I need him to start scoring for my team, especially. Exactly. On to the next game, then the first of the three o'clock kickoffs is Crystal Palace versus Aston Villa. Now, I sense we might get a little bit of bias here from Harry, but. It's a Palace side who've looked fantastic playing the likes of Arsenal and Liverpool. Took a point at Liverpool. Should have took a point at Arsenal. Probably should have took all three, to be fair, at Liverpool. But they face a Villa side who scraped by against Everton and got battered by new boys Bournemouth. And Diego Carlos. have no Diego And Carlos don't have Diego Carlos. So, Harry, what do you think here? As a Villa fan, are you going to be back in the boys? Or I are, am. Are you, of course you are. Good. What, what magical players joining in the next I'm, week then? I'm going to say 2-0 Villa. Yeah, is Jason um, Denier going to deny, uh, deny him a goal when no, he joins? He might not even come. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say 2-0 Villa with goals from Ings and Buendia. See, I'm not delusional. So, uh, but I do think Villa will score first, and I think it will be a Ollie Watkins goal and a Buendia assist. But then Crystal Palace are going to score three and win 3-1 at Southwest Park. And it's going to be goals from Etze, Elise and... I was going to say Zaha, but I'm thinking I'm going to go a little further back and I'm going to go for Chait de Corey's debut goal. Just puts in a third. I will cry. You probably will, yeah. Mm. But, I mean, prospects don't look great for a Villa side don't, no. against a Palace side yeah. who are fantastic. Up next at 3 o'clock, we've got Everton versus Nottingham Forest. I think this is quite an interesting game. Everton haven't picked up any points yet, but they have played Chelsea and Villa. And to be fair, they probably could have got a draw against Villa if they had a striker on the yeah. pitch. And then for Nottingham Forest, I mean, they picked up a. Well, they sorry, they lost to Newcastle in the day, but I don't think that's too bad. And then, Ham. yeah, beat West Ham 1 0. So I think they've had a good start to the season. Will they continue that here with their away trip to Goodison Park? I'm or do you think Everton could pull say, off a bit of a shock? I'm going to say 2 1, Nottingham Forest. Mm, uh, fair I'm going to say goals. Forest goals from Lingard and Awanoyi. Didn't see that one coming at all. goal from Salomon Rondon. <laughs> How annoyed he's going for your fantasy team. No, no one predicted that one. I have Neko Williams, so I think not Forrest will keep a clean sheet. Yeah. And I'm going to go for 1-0 Forrest again. And it's going to be a goal from... Who's going to score? I'll go Emmanuel Dennis. Debut yeah. goal. Come off. Fair come enough. on off the bench for Tyro Awanoi. He's failed to really make an impact in the first half of the game. 60th minute-ish. Neko Williams, ball... Low driven ball across the box, and there's Emmanuel Dennis who sticks it home. Didn't know That's my prediction against West Ham. Yeah. I think so. Up next, though, Fulham versus Brentford. It's Fulham who obviously came up this year oh. against Brentford, who no, came up very, last year. Brentford are very much in form. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, but Fulham are as well. A draw against Wolves, an established Prem side, is decent, and a, a point against Liverpool, one of the best, yeah, best bad, sides. Fulham look good. Brentford look good. I genuinely think this is a really tough one to call, but what, what are you thinking? I think this is going to be a wake-up call for Fulham. 
You reckon? I'm going to say 3-0 Brent. So 3 You're no, really... Three you're really... Yeah, you just remembered you got Rico Henry. Yeah. You really love Brentford. 3-0 Brentford. Year. I'm going to say a Ivan Tony double and a goal from Matthias Jensen again. Brentford to kick, keep kick-starting what looks to be a fantastic season for him. I think it's going to be nil-nil. Right, you're done. I, ha- I think... I think Fulham will just get another penalty. Tony. I think Fulham will get another penalty and Mitro will miss it. Who's going to give away a penalty? Rico Henry. Oh, <laughs> and then David Raya is going to save it oh, and right. with his clean sheet as well and then get three bonus points as well. So that'll be really good for him. And yeah, I think it'll be nil-nil. I just, I don't really see Brentford being able to absolutely tear apart this Fulham side. I think they look mm. good defensively. I mean, yeah. look at the pockets of space they were able to exploit against Manchester United. That's because Maguire was thinking yeah. about something else, probably. It's hard to describe what Maguire's doing most of the time. And then, Lissandra Martinez, as long as you're not legally a dwarf, you should be able yeah. to beat him in the air. And that's what Tony did. And of course, they were able to pounce on Ericsson being quite slow on the ball as well. It was just very lethargic for a Manchester United. And I don't think we'll see the same lack of ethic yeah. or yeah, desire from Fulham. And I think, therefore, it'll be hard for Brentford to break them down. I think Fulham also look good on the counter. And I think that could be how they get their penalty. I think we could yeah. see. I think Manuel Solomon can cause Fulham a lot of problems. He Definitely. dry his direct running. If he can run at Ben Mee, potential for a penalty there, or Rico Henry potential for a penalty there, and then yeah, I think maybe Mitrovic scores it. Maybe he doesn't. Depends yeah. on whether he lost my fantasy team or not. All right. Uh, yeah. The last then of the three o'clock kickoffs, and it's Leicester versus Southampton. Quite a lot of history between these two it's sides. Easy. It's usually a nine-one win for Leicester. Or at least it so was that one game. game. Southampton have not looked terrible. I know they lost 4-1 to Tottenham in the opening weekend, but then they beat, beat Forest. Drew, who they play? No, they didn't play Forest. They played West Ham. Leeds. Leeds, and it was 2-2, right? Yeah. And Sekumara looks really decent. Leicester, they picked, they scored twice in a 4-2 loss to Arsenal. And threw away a big win at and Yeah, should, should have beaten win. Brentford the week before. So. I'm going to go nil nil. That's really dull. I think most of these sides have no defence and have an ability to score. Because mm. look, at, Leicester have shipped six goals yeah. and scored four in two games. Southampton have shipped seven and scored four, no, three in two games. There's no chances of a nil nil in my mind. I'm going to go for a three all. That'll be fun. What a brilliant game it's going to be. A game where no one has anyone in their fantasy yeah, team, so it matters. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Ian Acho, gonna, yeah, exactly. I'm, no, I'm going to go Ian Acho double. I'm going to say a Timothy Castagna goal, and he'll become an assist as well, and people will be loving him. Yeah. Then I'm going to go Tino Livramento, James Ward Prowse, and some. Oh, who else plays for Southampton these days? Joe Rebo continue on his yeah, goal scoring yeah. form I think that would be really good for Southampton and then yeah they can pick up a point there I think it will probably be less to take the advantage and then Southampton pulling it back but what oh. fantastic thing that would be and whoever gambled on a Rebo after one yeah. goal is going to be loving it he'll probably get an assist as well or something up next then the last of the Saturday games it's the 5 day kickoff between Bournemouth and Arsenal I feel sorry. I was going to say they nice. lost to Man City quite comfortably. They did beat Villa, but I don't think Villa are very good. They lost to Man City. They're going to lose at home to Arsenal, but it's just a matter of how many buy. And what are you thinking, Harry? I'm going to say five now. I was also, I'm, st- I'm also saying five. I'm I think they'll say, outdo Man City by one, and that'll be like all. I'm going to say Odegaard two, Jesus one, Saka one, Zinchenko one. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think it'll, then it'll be out, Arteta's team outscoring Pep's team against the same opposition and it'll yeah. be like, oh, wow, how controversial. I'm going to go for a Jesus double, Saka double and a Martinelli goal yeah. for a 5-0 win Why against Bournemouth. Team? Zinchenko. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> on to the Sunday then. The first of the Sunday games, the 2 o'clock kickoff, And it's Leeds versus Chelsea. Leeds don't look as bad as I thought they would no, at the start the of this season. season. And they Aaronson picked up a point against rock. Southampton. They, well, they go on first won't get weekend. Beat Wolves. Beat Wolves 2-1, right? Brendan Aronson looked really good there. I think Rodrigo's on really good form yeah. as well. 
But Chelsea look a lot stronger, I think. Chelsea, Chelsea is surprising a lot of people who went, oh, that would be very good. Chelsea deserved but much more from the Tottenham game. Chelsea should have beat Tottenham. They did beat Everton. I think they will beat Leeds here at Ellen Road. It can be a tough game. Ellen Road is a tough place to go. And we've seen Chelsea struggle against Leeds away before. And I don't think it's going to be an absolute embarrassment. But what are you thinking? I'm only going to say 2-0. I'm going to go Chelsea goals from Raheem Sterling. Get his first goal in blue. Yeah. And... A goal from Jorginho from the penalty spot. Fair enough. I'm going to go 1-0. And I'm going to say it's going to be Mark Kukurea. I think he will... I think Rhys James's cross will go just over the head of Havertz. And Mark Kukurea will be there at the back post to slot it yeah. home. Channeling Marcus Alonso vibes. Back post volleys. Absolute <laughs> scenes. Can't wait for it. And yeah, and then everyone will be going. Oh, Although, what an upgrade! Leeds can legally pull his hair. So yeah, so actually, they won't, he won't be able to do that because he'll be pe- preparing for the volley, and they'll pull his hair. It'll just do a full flick because that is legal. Just clear it. Yeah, the Premier League. because it's not specifically mentioned. And I was murder, so if you want to kill someone on the pitch, feel free to yeah. do so because that's also not been specifically mentioned. Up next, West Ham versus Brighton. I gen- this was going to be a really good game of football. I think, I hope. Because it's two sides that play some really nice football, got some good managers, got some really exciting players in their teams. I know West Ham haven't exactly p- picked up any points yet, but I still think they're very good. Yeah. And Brighton, of course, have played Manchester United, which they won, but that's like playing Norwich last season. It should be a comfortable three points. And then who they play this week? Hey. Brighton. Um, Drew was someone decent, didn't they? Bum, ba-dum, bum, bum, bum. I feel like there was Newcastle yeah, new draw, Castle, yeah. New now. So they've they've picked up four points. They're right up there at the sharp yeah. end of the table, Brighton. West Ham, no points so far. Do you think confidence will have an effect? Do you think momentum for Brighton could have an effect here? Or do you I think, think West Ham's West quality? Ham very strong, but I'm going to say 1-1. Yeah. One, one. West yeah. Ham goal from Bowen, Brighton goal from Welbeck. Love that. Gotta love a Danny Welbeck goal. Oh, oh, yes. I'm going to go West Ham 1, Brighton 2. I think we will see a West Ham goal from Saeed Ben Rama. I think Brighton will score first, though, and that'll be from Leandro Trossard. Ben Rama in about the 56th minute, and then the 88th minute, Brighton have a corner, and it falls. It's not going to be a header, it's going to be Messi, and Daniel Elbert's going to bundle it home, and you're going to see me just knee slide like, down an entire road. Right, mind for some. Yeah, I was going to say, I won't have any knees or yeah. legs left. But I'll be loving it because Danny Welbeck picks up a huge, huge voice yeah. for my fantasy team. Lovely. One game left to go for us to predict yeah. now because we can't do the Monday game. It's Newcastle versus Manchester City, the half four kickoff. Thanks, the late one on the Sunday. So, I was going to say, what are you going for then? Newcastle versus Man City. Newcastle. Newcastle don't look as good as everyone thought they'd be. I don't know. They look like they don't want. They don't concede. They've not conceded yeah. yet. I think they will against City though. I think? I think City goes scrape through a one 0 win. Maybe a lucky I'm gonna go a lucky Jack Grealish goal in like the eighty fifth minute. I think the exact opposite. Ooh. I think it's gonna be one 0 Newcastle. Yeah. Newcastle have a habit of beating Manchester City. I think City showed that if you can defend very well, it's hard for them to break you down with Haaland. Look at the West Ham game, for example. Newcastle haven't conceded yet. They're not going to concede here. Mm. And they're going to beat Manchester City 1-0. And they're going to make me rue the decision to drop Pope yeah. and Trippier to the bench because they're playing Man City. And it's going to be a goal from Alan saint Maximan, And it's going to be a brilliant goal. Lovely. He's going to go on a major dribble and stick it top corner. And everyone's going to go, wow, sign this man to Chelsea right now. <laughs> better than Anthony yeah. Anyone is better than Anthony Gordon. Then on Monday, of course, it's Manchester United versus Liverpool. We will be live for that one, so we're not going to yes. give our prediction here. Join us live then. We are live Sunday as well, but we're going to be doing some La Liga action on Sunday. So I know this is Prem Predictions, but if you're into La Liga, join us there for Real Sociedad Barcelona. Barcelona. We will be live from half eight for a nine o'clock kickoff. It's a very late one. Should be a lot of fun with you guys in chat, though. And yeah, on Monday, we have Manchester United versus Liverpool. The eight o'clock kickoff. Comedy show. A gen- I don't know, though. It could be Liverpool losing to Man United. If Liverpool, uh, imagine if Liverpool lost that game. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. That would be insane. I really hope that happens. Join us Monday. See what happens. Yeah, join us there because if you're not here, you won't know. No. That would be bad if you don't know what's happening. But yeah, let's join us for all of those. And if you're uh, on Spotify, listening along on Spotify, and then hop on over to the YouTube. Get involved in the conversation. I want to see your predictions down there. I know on our prem predictions last week we saw all 
the prediction. There were so many people getting involved. It was great to see, so I want to see that again. We'll see if you can get most of the scores right. See if you can outdo us two who usually get them all wrong. So yeah. you can't do much worse. And yeah, so if you're on Spotify, get on, head on over to YouTube, get involved. If you're on YouTube and just fancy listening along to this rather than watching, then feel free to head on over to Spotify. The, uh, the link is in the description. So yeah. Make sure to follow us on all platforms. Yeah. Subscribe your new round here. We're, of course, still going for the 1K this year. We're at 761 at the time of recording. By the time this goes out, I'd we like could be more. on a million. <laughs> but <Maybe. laughs> We'd have to go awesome. massive. Yeah. Some short did amazing or something. But, yeah, that is all for today. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. And we'll see you next time. See ya.